Welcome to part eight of the Learning Table Tennis series. Please watch the previous videos in this series before continuing as many of the principles including grip and stance apply. The backhand topspin is one of the more difficult strokes in table tennis as it requires precise timing and a full understanding of the mechanics. All strokes in table tennis require good coordination of the backswing and stroke for optimal timing and bat head speed. However, it is even more important on the backhand topspin. Let's start by looking at how the arm should work. A good way to get the feeling for the stroke is to grab your forearm with your non-playing hand. Totally relax your forearm and the wrist will be very loose and behave like a hinge. When you pull your forearm back and down towards you, you'll notice that the wrist snaps back as a result of the momentum. Then push your forearm up and forward and notice how the wrist snaps forward. This is the correct relationship between the forearm and wrist on all of your strokes in table tennis. The trick to getting fast bat head speed is to not pause on the backswing. What you need to do is instantly start moving your forearm forward when the wrist is snapping back, which makes the wrist snap forward at high speed through the point of contact. You don't make the wrist snap. It will just happen as a result of relaxed muscles in your forearm allowing the wrist to act as a hinge. Think of your forearm as the handle of a whip and your bat as the end. Let's look closely at the stroke. Notice the way the wrist snaps back here. Now watch how the forward movement quickly changes the bat's direction. Wait for the ball to come to you before starting the backswing or you'll be forced to pause slightly on the backswing and lose momentum. If that happens, you'll use poor mechanics and attempt to force the ball forward by tensing muscles. You want to have your elbow out to the side of your body and forward as per the golden point rule. Don't stop the stroke, let the wrist whip all the way through. It is very important to stay down and relatively still through the stroke. The power comes through the whip type action created by your arm and it has very little to do with your legs and waist at this stage. Let's take a quick look at TT Edge member Ben's backhand topspin. In the near future, I'll be analyzing this shot and giving Ben a training plan with exercises to improve. You'll be able to follow this plan and get your backhand topspin right too. I don't expect members to learn the backhand topspin through this video alone. Common mistakes. One, not coordinating the backswing. This is the number one mistake by a long way. If you pause or start at the end of your backswing, you'll have lost all momentum and your wrist won't snap through the ball. You'll be left forcing your arm from a standing start and you'll never have smooth or powerful backhand topspin technique. Two, coming across the ball. This mistake often occurs when a player has their thumb up the middle of the backhand rubber. They get no whip from their wrist, so they use their upper arm and forearm to come across the ball. Three, coming up with the stroke. Some players push up with their legs, trying to get more power. If you finish in this position, you'll have poor recovery. Four, dropping the elbow. If you drop the elbow, you won't be able to use the whip type action and you'll be wasting a lot of time. You need to keep the elbow somewhere around the golden point area for optimal recovery between strokes. Five, elbow moving towards body. If your elbow finishes close to your right hip, you are on the wrong track. The finishing position of the elbow should be out and forward. Six, finishing well over the head. If you are playing at slow speeds and finishing over your head, you've engaged the upper arm and you will need to use more wrist than forearm. Seven, leaning back. Leaning back puts your center of gravity behind you, so you'll lose power and the ability to move quickly. Eight, being tense. Being tense locks the wrist, making the whip technique impossible. Nine, moving around too much. Moving around throws you off balance and will make it hard for you to get the mechanics correct. 10. Not following through. You need to have a mindset to allow your bat to go all the way through to ensure maximum relaxation and acceleration on contact. 11. Hitting the ball from the side of your body. If you are close to the table, you want to be hitting the ball from in front of your body as it's easier to control and time. If you are away from the table, it changes a little, but that is beyond the scope of this video. 12. Standing side on. If you get side on for your backhand topspin, you won't be able to continue effectively in a rally when the ball suddenly goes to your forehand. 13. Stepping into the ball. Stepping in doesn't help to get power and puts you in terrible position for recovery. 14. 
going around in circles. Going around in circles means you haven't coordinated your backswing and stroke at all, and you won't be able to generate power later on.